Hello there, this is Jay from JCAD. I make AutoCAD tutorials for students and professionals in the fields of architecture and interior design. If you are new to our channel, subscribe to get our weekly tutorials on AutoCAD and other design software. In this video, I will be talking about advanced drawing commands, such as the polygon, the ellipse, SP line, construction line, and ray. So let's get to it. So polygon, here's the polygon command. It's usually rectangle is the default here, but uh, if you click on the arrow beside it, you will see the polygon command here under the home ribbon and the draw section. And when you start the polygon command, the first thing AutoCAD will ask you is to enter the number of sides. So the minimum sides you wanna put, the minimum you can put is the three, and that will create a triangle. And then now it's asking me for the center of the polygon and I'm just going to click anywhere. But right now the grid snap is active. I will just turn this off from here. Okay, so I'm going to click anywhere for the center of the polygon. And then we will get this question inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle. For now I'm going to click either of them and then I will show you what that means for each of them. So let's bring this notepad again. So polygon, the shortcut for it is P-O-L, and you click enter, uh, and you need to enter the sides. You need to choose the center of the polygon, and then you will, you will be asked if it's uh, inscribed or circumscribed. Okay. So, okay, so we have this here. All right. All right, and let's space this out and let's do this command again. So polygon, I showed you here on the interface where's the command setting, and now I'm gonna do it again, but this time with the shortcuts on the keyboard, P-O-L, polygon. And again, the first step is the number of sides. This time I'm just gonna say five, for example, and then I'm gonna specify the center of the polygon and I'm gonna click anywhere. And now regarding this question, inscribed in circle or circumscribed? I'm going to click again on either of them, and then I'm going to start the shape. I drew earlier two polygons um, and a reference circle uh, for each. So I'm just like, going to actually copy both of these and bring them down. Okay, so the polygon command again. So let's start it. And I'm going to stay on 5 and click enter again. And now the center of the polygon, I will choose the circle as the center. So when it's asking for, for the option here, inscribed or circumscribed, inscribed in circle, it will create the polygon in a way where if there's an imaginary circle around it, the endpoints of the polygon will be touching the circumference of the circle. So I'm gonna choose that, inscribed in circle. And you can see here, we are choosing, uh, we are drawing this uh, polygon based on the endpoint of the polygon and it's gonna go inside the circle. Okay, and I'm gonna start polygon command again. And let's stick to five as well. And let's choose this circle uh, center as a center for our uh, polygon. And here I'm gonna choose circumscribed about circle, which means that right now we are drawing the polygon based on the midpoint of the edge rather than the endpoint. And when we do that based on an imaginary circle, the midpoint of this polygon, the midpoints here of each edge of the polygon is touching this imaginary circle. So you can do it based on the endpoint, which is inscribed, or you can do it based on the midpoint, which is uh, circumscribed. Okay, so let's bring back our notes. And it's this one. Inscribed or circumscribed. Okay, a little hard to say this word. All right, so one more thing to note about the polygon is that you can go, you can go on, you can choose as many edges as you want, but I'd like to mention the number 16 specifically. If you do 16 edges or sides of the polygon, it will give you uh, a roughly shaped circle. Okay, 
uh, it's, of course it's not a circle there's a circle command here in AutoCAD which is a perfect geometry it doesn't it doesn't have edges pretty much uh, but we can create a circle as uh, a shape or a geometry similarly looking to a circle with the polygon command um, and to do that if you do 32 edges or 32 sides this will give you a really clean shaped um, um, I would say like very very similar to a circle and again of course it's not a circle but uh, you might wanna you might wanna draw a polygon that looks like a circle okay so that was regarding the the polygon uh, and let's keep going with the next drawing command here let's talk about the ellipse so ellipse is EL I believe that's the shortcut and then you can click enter on the keyboard ellipse is basically right here under the home ribbon again and of course in the draw section I'm gonna click on the arrow here to show you the default uh, ellipse command all right so there's three different modes for drawing uh, an ellipse we have the option to draw it based on the center and we also have to the option to draw it based on the axis and an endpoint and then we have elliptical arc which I'll show you in a minute which allows us to pretty much draw a portion of the ellipse rather than the entire ellipse um, so let's start with the first one center so I'm gonna select that and right now we're gonna first start with the center of the ellipse and as you can see beside the cursor it's saying center and also you can reference the command line here on the bottom and it's also saying specify center so I'm gonna click anywhere here specify center and right now it's asking specify the endpoint of the axis so I'm gonna click here so basically this is uh, similar to a radius of a circle so we start from the center to this side and then right now we are deciding on the second uh, side or the second axis of the ellipse so I'm gonna click anywhere here and that was an ellipse so I'm gonna start that again using the keyboard EL and we're gonna do the same the I think this one start based on the endpoint this is not gonna work gonna erase it let's start again from here so the center this is the endpoint of the axis and the second point so the way I like to explain this as well is imagine that you are drawing a geometry um, that has two radiuses pretty much so here's an ellipse again and this is the center of this geometry consider this the first radius for example if I do 12 here and then right here I'm gonna type 6 so that gives us this shape but you can even use the ellipse to, dry, uh, to draw a circle as well um, uh, a geometry that looks like a circle and again it's not gonna be a circle it's an ellipse so I'm gonna click here for the center and right now I'm gonna do 12 for this axis and then 12 on the second axis and you will see we get a perfect circle except that it's an ellipse and we can adjust it and modify it to to do like this while the circle let's see where's our circle actually let's create a new circle here when you modify the circle edges it will modify it uh, uniformly okay so now we had a look at the ellipse to create how to create an ellipse based on the center okay so the next option to draw an ellipse is based on the axis and the endpoint so how I'd like to describe this it's as if you are drawing the uh, the diameter of a circle and then you are deciding on the radius on the other side or in the other direction so right now I'm gonna click here this is gonna be the uh, first point or endpoint of the axis and this is gonna be the second point and I call this the diameter because we chose this point first and then this is the second point and now we're gonna decide on the radius in the other direction it's not exactly radius and diameter but that's how I'd like to to put it for people okay and then I'm gonna click somewhere here and we got our ellipse alright so that was regarding the second mode of drawing an ellipse the third method to drawing uh, an ellipse and also it gives us the option to trim a portion of the ellipse I'm gonna select that so the way this one starts it starts similar to the second option which is the axis uh, and the endpoint so you click here on the first point 
uh, the second point, the far, the far point of the axis, and then now we're gonna decide on on this direction. I'm gonna click somewhere here, and now what it's asking us, it's asking to specify the start angle. So I'm just gonna put the mouse uh, uh, straight here at the zero point or at the 180 point. I'm gonna click here, and then if you move the mouse you see it will trim a portion of the ellipse. If I move the mouse furthermore, it will trim the bottom portion. If I move it up, it will trim uh, almost three quarters of the ellipse geometry. Um, and then when you, when, you, when, you, when you decide on how you wanna do this, you can click at any time. I'm gonna click here. And now we have this geometry. And let's do it again one more time. So the axis. Uh, endpoint and the other endpoint then this one then now you want to give direction uh, you want to you want to give a starting point let's say from here and then you're gonna go up for example you can even stop at any angle you can even type it let's say 180 click enter and here you go it erased half the ellipse all right and let's bring back the notes here Okay, so you just saw ellipse. There's uh, three modes of drawing. Um, there is, I actually already forgot them, the center, axis, and, and elliptical arc. Actually, no need to write them. I think that's uh, pretty straightforward regarding the ellipse. Um, I guess the only, the only tip I would say here is that uh, you, can, you can draw a circle with it, uh, and it's like a circle with two radiuses. Radius. Okay, I think that's how we should write it. All right, so moving along to the next drawing command, the SP line. And I think the shortcut for SP line is SPL. However, there's two different SP line commands. There is SP line uh, fit, and there is SP line uh, CV. Okay. So let's look at these two drawing commands. So if we're looking here under the home ribbon in the drawing section, you won't see the SP line commands. This is line, polyline, circle arc, polygon and rectangle. This was the ellipse and this is the hatch command. It's not part of this video. Uh, and then if you click here on, on the draw here, you will see additional drawing commands. So if you look at the first two icons, here you see SP line fit and SP line CV and I'm gonna talk about uh, each one of them so let's start with SP line fit I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna uh, specify the first point second point another one I'll just do a couple points uh, and then I'm gonna click enter on the keyboard or right click and choose enter to finish the command so SP line pretty much is a curved line it allows you to draw organic shapes in AutoCAD. Um, if you, if I select it right now, I'm gonna select the SP line. You will see that the control points of the SP line fit, they are sitting on the the geometry itself. Uh, I'm gonna do right now the other SP line option, SP line CV, or control vertices, control vertex. Okay, and I'm gonna click here, first point, and if you look at it right now you can see that this one is getting drawn a little differently and the curvature is um, uh, it's less curved as we're drawing it and I'm just gonna stop here right click and choose enter so in comparison the let's select this one the spline uh, CV and you can see here that the control points that control this geometry um, this curve geometry they are outside the line itself um, so if I click here and move this is where the control point is the same here and you can see and if I select the SP line fit you will see that they are sitting on the curve itself um, and it's just a little easier to uh, to adjust the curve itself all right uh, and one more thing to note about the the SP line, uh, both of them, both options. If you see here, there's a grip or a control point and it's showing uh, a bottom arrow. If you click on it, you can switch the SP line type from uh, control vertices to fit. 
and now you will see the control points or the grips are on the line itself and the same here I can switch this back to control vertices okay um, so you'll try try both of them you'll see you'll see what works better for you me personally I usually always stick to SP line fit I just find it uh, easier to use to control the curvature and anyway it's mainly for um, organic shapes or, or drawings or geometry all right so let's bring back our notes so now you saw SP line fit and CV so fit the I'm gonna say the control points or the grips are on the line and let's expand this a little uh, while the SP line CV or control vertices the control points or the grips are on uh, outside the line the curved line pretty much okay so moving forward let's look at the construction line so let's talk about construction line and ray okay now I'm gonna click uh, escape here double click escape just to deselect any geometry so similar to the SP line uh, drawing commands you will find that construction line and ray are sitting on the expanded uh, drawing uh, window so I'm gonna choose construction line right now I'm gonna click on it and to start drawing a construction line we need to specify a point and then we need to give direction so I'm gonna give this direction or the upper direction and the command will continue and I'll just click one right here and then I'm gonna click enter or right click and that finished the the command so construction lines are uh, infinite lines they're infinite in both directions this was our starting point for this construction line so it goes infinite to the right side and it goes infinite to the left side and the same upward and downwards I'm gonna zoom out and you will see that as much as you zoom out in the AutoCAD space uh, the construction line will extend uh, and basically the main use for construction lines uh, in architecture and interior design for the drawing here we use them pretty much to uh, as reference lines when we are working on projects so let's say you have a, a portion of the project here and then you have another portion here so you can throw a construction line just to guide from here all the way to the top and in later videos you will see the uh, how how I use the construction line okay so now I'm gonna show you the ray command so ray is is only infinite in one direction so I'm um, the same process I will specify a start point and then I need to give direction and you can see that the line only expands in one direction uh, and the same like construction uh, lines it will keep drawing additional ray uh, ray elements so like this you can actually do as many as like this and then I'm gonna right click to finish the command and here we go so the difference between ray and construction lines is that ray expands in one direction I think I drew so, so uh, many of them I'm just gonna get rid of a few of them let's get rid of this um, let's just keep this this and uh, this is okay all right so ray expands in one direction while construction uh, line expands in both directions and again both of them are uh, reference lines you use them for reference uh, while you're drawing your project all right and that was it regarding the advanced drawing commands in AutoCAD if you like this video click on the subscribe button below to keep seeing more videos like this and of course leave a comment if you have a question